Meteorologist Stefano DiPietro to break down scientifically why it got so bad so fast. The cleanup continues from devastating and downright historical flooding through parts of Middle Tennessee this past weekend. But where we're going to talk about is actually how all of this happened. And the first thing that we need to talk about are just those tremendous rainfall totals that we saw from Stewart, Houston, getting into Dixon, Humphreys and Hickman counties all through just a 24 hour period on Saturday, 15 to even over 17 inches of rainfall measured in some locations. Now, how exactly did we see numbers like that? It was because of this train of heavier rainfall. This is our radar loop from the Saturday morning moving into the start of the afternoon, and you can just see that heavier rain training over the same areas. It was relentless. It came down heavy and it came down pretty quickly as well. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Now, as we got toward the late morning into the early afternoon, we did get a nice break from that heavier rainfall before a second round came through later in the day. But it's not just the amount of rain, like I said, it's how heavy it actually came through. So here's a great example. This is our McEwen rain gauge. This is in the northeastern portions of Humphreys County. Now, what happened here between 12 and 5 a.m.? We saw just over three inches of rain. Look at the three hours after that between five and six. 6 and 7 and 7 and 8 a.m. We saw over three inches of rain each hour for totaling just over nine inches of rainfall in just a three hour period. Now, the rainfall rates like that three to four inches per hour are exactly what caused just that fast and furious flooding. So heavier rainfall like that cannot get absorbed into the ground. It runs off into creeks, streams and rivers. They cannot handle that extra supply of water. So the flooding occurs. We're talking thousands upon millions of gallons of extra water in those locations. As they narrow those rivers and creeks and streams, the flow becomes faster. The water level rises, and that's why we saw that quick and just devastating flooding through parts of Middle Tennessee.